So like I said in my Naruto Gaiden live reaction, once again, let me know what you guys think about the live reactions versus just doing the reviews. I mean, I'm doing both of them, and I'll be doing a double review of last week's review with this week's chapter as well later on today. But I'm just curious to see people's response on this. And yeah, let's jump into this live reaction. Sabo's in the building, so you know it's gonna get fucking hot. Okay, we got first page. And by the way, this is the version of the chapter that has 15 pages, and I'm on page one, four minutes before... And it got Zoro looking sick as fuck. Zoro is a motherfucking beast. Okay. That bird just on his ass. Good shit. <laughs> Already. Did she put that brother here? I'm Sabo. Zoro has my little brother. Yep, some beef. Yo, that's a boss right there. Look, how do you start off the chapter with that? You have some beef with him, Burgess, while he fucking has the damn mace thingy to his fucking neck. Sabo for the win, okay? <laughs> I feel like I've heard that before. Everyone is always so shocked when they hear that there are three brothers at the end of the day. Because first they were already like Ace, you know, because Ace was a big deal. Like, that was your brother. And now the fucking captain, or not captain, but the second in command of the Revolutionary Army. The Bonaro incident, the Blackbeard Pirates capturing Ace. That's what started all that horrible summit war. Yeah, yeah. Like, hmm. Okay, so... Sabo is an avengeful person based on what he's saying right here. Well, it was his life, and it's not like I'm holding you lot responsible for it. But now, from now on, I have Luffy's back. Remember that well. So that's getting a little bit more into his character, and I know that more review territory or whatever, and I'll cover that more later on. But, like, he's not a vengeful person, and he's not holding anybody accountable for Ace's death. But he's like, I'm here now, and I'm protecting my little brother. Good shit there. Good shit. I don't give a damn about your relationship. <laughs> Yo. Oh, Burgess isn't you. Burgess isn't the most, you know, smartest motherfucker on the block. Oh, man. Just seeing Sabo here, he's a fucking beast. His character design already is just like... I love seeing just his character design. Hmm. Doflamingo's coming from that side, and I think my hands will be full dealing with Burgess. How strong is Burgess? Like, I don't think Burgess is as strong as Doflamingo, so why would he... Mm, there's a question right there. Is Sabo... Where is Sabo's power, or is Burgess just, just that damn good? I will take Mingo down. Hmm. That, that caught my interest. Does that mean Luffy's stronger than Sabo, or is it just that Burgess is damn near Doflamingo's level, or the way Burgess fights isn't something that Sabo can combat easily, or... I don't know. Oh, that's a touching moment right there. Luffy, you know, Luffy and Sabo, like, we still have Ace in us because of the fruit and shit like that. That's touching. <laughs> Take care of him, Bets. It's Gats. Leave it to me. <laughs> okay. Oh, gosh. Burgess with his wrestling moves. Okay, let me enlarge this page. Oh, Flaming Dragon Claw Fist. Yo, the art on this page is real. I don't get why he said he'd have his hands full with Burgess. He looks like he's fucking him up. Burgess is crying like a bitch. It burns. Yes, it burns, motherfucker. It's Sabo. Yo, I, I can't get over the art on this page. This shit looks sick. Flew one of the four Emperor's crew so far away. So he finally... And just imagine, if Sabo is this beastly, you know Dragon is on a whole other level. <laughs> Hunter that hunts double fruit users. Damn, that was beautiful art on page, what was that, six? <laughs> Gats is confused. I love that shit. One of the things I really like about One Piece is that most of these people are bandits or pirates, so they're hardened motherfuckers, and they don't give a shit. Like, right here, Gats is like, oh, well, you broke the rules, who gives a shit? Like, you're helping us now, we don't give a fuck. Yo, page eight. Wow. Go Flamingo is frying motherfuckers up. Oh, so he's still awakened. Yeah, look at the town and everything. His his strings or whatever. He's like, wow. Small fries. Come on, Straw. I'll show you what regret looks like. Yo, he took how much of an ass whipping from Gear 4 Luffy? And he still has enough to just... Well, they're fodder at the end of the day, but still. Jesus. And he's still in awakened mode at that. You gotta think about that. <laughs> Yo. Okay. Out of the fodder. Uh, okay, Central Speed, it's a battleground. Uh, Buso Hockey. And that's Zoro. What are you doing? That's too reckless. How would you know that? 
if you got something to say then wait if you got time if you wait if you've got the time to say things like that help me out instead you delusional bastards wow so he's talking to Kinemon and what's what's the other dude's name oh my gosh it's been so long but him and his friend and he's calling him delusional bastards wow Oh, Frankie. Okay, so it looks like Zoro and the rest of the lot are gonna push back the cage or whatever. So, while Luffy's taking care of the central threat, Doflamingo, the outer threat or whatever, Zoro's gonna... And that's why Zoro's a beast. That's why Zoro is a beast, honestly. I wonder if Zoro went up against Burgess, what would happen? I wonder if Sabo was just being modest or if he could've actually, like... If, I mean, he we see he's handling Burgess like nothing. So that's kind of interesting as well. Wait, why are they wearing those masks? They kind of look like uh, Foxy's crew. <sighs> Screw that. I ain't even here anymore. Okay, so more fodder stuff. Eh. Okay, that was page 12, 13. Ooh, the Coliseum motherfuckers is here knocking them out. Get out of here. I ain't gonna lie. One thing Oda did right was he made the Coliseum people a lot more relevant than they first started out to be. Like, when they started out, it was just like, get him out of here. But, like, even Blue Gilly seen him now. Like, all these motherfuckers. You got everyone. You got, what was it? Ideo, Hideo, Hide, whatever the hell his name is. I mean, even Don Ching, Zhao, Bartolomeo, fucking, I don't know. He, he did a good job. I'll give him that. A lot of fodder in this chapter. Okay. Okay, yeah. Oh, wow. You even got Kitos with them. Oh, wow. Did Doflamingo get through all of them already? Oh, shut up, Riku. <laughs> Riku, oh, dear God, help. Oh, please. Like, shut up already. We can't run no more. Sabo went at... Okay, so Birds is still fighting back. Birds just got some stamina, that means. Maybe that's what he meant. Like, he's gonna have a tough time. Maybe he got mad stamina. Come out. Come out wherever you are. Time until the massacre because of Birdcage. Three minutes. Time until Luffy recovers. Four minutes. Oh, wow. Something's got to give then. If there's three minutes until the cage. Like unless Zoro can stop the cage. Or slow it down enough. Which I think that's my prediction at the end of this live reaction. Because I think the next page is just a BS page. Whatever the outro shit like that. Three minutes. I think Zoro's going to expand it a little bit. By holding it back. To give at least one minute for Luffy. To finish Doflamingo off. Can he do it? I don't know. But yeah. So this chapter started off really hype. And the Coliseum guys. Eh, but yeah, I'll give my full review, but just the beginning, Sabo fucking owned it yet again. Sabo for the motherfucking win, people. Uh, until the reviews, double reviews later on. Have an awesome day, people.